another reason why I'm so happy that Donald Trump has been essentially fired by the American people and that his presidency is only going to last a few more weeks. I mean, hopefully he doesn't, you know, he doesn't trash the, the country more with all his, you know, dumb shit. Uh, but but I, I'm glad. So so what am I talking about? I'm talking about the, the fact that this fucking asshole, Donald Trump, essentially put an end to the pause that had been in place for 17 years of the, the uh, practice of executing federal prisoners in order to execute Brandon Bernard, all right? Brandon Bernard was convicted when he was 18 years old in 1999, so he had been on death row for about 20 years. He had been convicted of supposedly killing a couple, and that's terrible and all that, okay? Uh, um, uh, apparently, he might have been, you know, uh, uh, coerced, but, but look, the people that know about this are the people that were advocating for the commuting of his, you know, his execution, right? You had a lot of legal experts, attorneys, uh, activists, people like uh, Kim Kardashian, people who actually, or rather attorneys, who actually even defended Donald Trump during his impeachment trials, okay? These people were all advocating for Bernard, for Brandon Bernard. Uh, 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 Again, I don't really know all the details, uh, the ins and out of why, uh, uh, you know, Bernard should be, should not be executed. But here's my thing, man, is that Donald Trump is in the lame duck session. Okay. Now, keep in mind that, that there had been a hundred, a 130 year old tradition where, where outgoing presidents abstain from executing um, uh, federal prisoners on on death row and leave it up to the incoming president now part of the reason for this is because you will have you'll have you know advocates and and legal experts uh, who advocate and say hey this person maybe should not be executed here's a bunch of evidence check it out and so the reason why a lot of these, you know, lame duck presidents abstain from executing is because they don't have all the all the time and you know left to essentially look through all this evidence and make a decision. So they say, you know what, I'll leave it up to the next president because they have four years at least, right? And so and so you have again you have you know legal experts and by the way you even have jurors jurors who convicted Brandon who are now sort of you know changing their tune and saying nah you know what maybe maybe we should have not have given him the death penalty and we should have given him maybe uh, life in prison but but the thing is that that speaks volumes when you have jurors changing their mind right legal experts uh, uh, activists all of this and then for this fucking asshole president to to hurry up and execute him because essentially that's what he did right he's been essentially been executing a, a a few there's you know he's responsible for the string of federal executions in the fat in the past few weeks because he's in a rush i guess to i mean to execute people i i, I don't know i mean what other way can i put this i don't know what the man is doing but that points to a just a heartless individual man to, to me and, and and so with all that in mind that that donald trump is like you know he refuses to hear out the evidence that would essentially commute brandon's execution and and maybe just you know leave him in prison for life i mean there's a there's a group of people a legitimate group of people with right i mean i mean jurors people who advocated for donald trump and this motherfucker is just saying like nope kill him off with his head adding to that remember that he fucking pardoned frank gallagher right I, I, maybe I'm, I'm getting his name wrong his first name wrong but gallagher he's this fucking navy seal who who was essentially went on a fucking murderous rampage a heartless murdering rampage when he was in afghanistan right uh, uh during his tour i think it was afghanistan but during his fucking tour his own uh, uh his own platoon members his own his own troops were were you know they were accusing him of being heartless and just this like ruthless killing machine who who essentially saw the afghani people as like subhuman this dude this dude according to his platoon members uh uh sniped 
a schoolgirl and an elderly man. All right, for basically for sport, he's quoted as saying shit like, "I'm gonna kill." Uh, that like quoted as saying shit like, "Like he's okay with killing anything that moves." Speaking about the Afghani people, this dude was a fucking monster. Okay, so so. Another thing that this, this guy Gallagher did, was, and, and that was, again, corroborated by his uh, platoon members, was that he stabbed to death somebody, that uh, like a prisoner, for no reason, and then posed uh, for pictures with the body, like, like a hunter does with, you know, after they kill their game, right? Like after they kill a deer and they, they pose with like the antlers and all that shit, that's what this dude was doing. And so, and so you have all these, you know, platoon members saying this shit. And then you even have a court martial that, that at the, what, what did at the very least. And of course they should have done more, but look, I'm not going to argue against it because I believe in the, uh, in the legal justice when it, when it's done right. And, and I don't know, right. Like, I don't know all the details to know if, if like the court martial was biased or if they were unfair, but but they didn't accuse, they didn't convict them of murder and all the, of these war crimes. But they at least demoted him. They demoted his his position of power. Well, in comes Donald fucking Trump and says, "Nope, I'm gonna overturn that decision." And, so, and he overturned and he fucking pardoned this motherfucker. This motherfucker's a monster. And so what Gallagher essentially did was his excuse or his defense rather is saying that all his fucking platoon members are were just jealous of his high-ranking position. And they wanted to smear his name. I don't know about you guys, man, but I trust, in general, you know, the the enlisted men and women of our military to not be as fucking petty and and smear somebody to the point where where they can be executed, right? Uh, potentially, but definitely convicted of a serious fucking crime, a serious life-changing crime, just because they were jealous that just no that just does not seem reasonable to me right so 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 look man the moral of this fucking video is is you have this fucking asshole donald trump who, who most of us fucking you know reasonable people knew that this fool was a fucking monster right he's trying to fucking declare martial law for the dumbest reasons because essentially trying to destroy democracy this motherfucker lost a fair and square election where there's just no evidence of of voter fraud even near to the level that that might overturn the election but no he's trying as hard as he fucking could to overturn the election right what he's essentially doing is he's asking all these judges to just give it to me just take it away from joe biden and give it to me this motherfucker abstains from executing somebody who where, who where evidence could potentially save his life but yet pardon's a monster what do you guys think about brandon's execution do you guys think that it was it was whether it was just or not do you think that donald trump was correct in in breaking that 130 year tradition just to hurry the fuck up and execute somebody like i, I don't know how you can defend that if you like this video don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and if you didn't like this video give me a dislike fuck it peace out